What do we have here? We have a box that must have a knife in it because it's knife shaped. Let's check it out. Boop. What we have here is a Bali song. Um, that's kind of the, you know, the fancy term for it. Um, I think they are from, if I remember right, the Philippines. These originated in the Philippines. And that's probably a Filipino word for something. You know what, if I uh, find the word for it, I'll put it up here. Maybe it's butterfly, because when I was a kid, uh, not a kid, but you know, when I was younger, these were the cool knives to have. We call them butterfly knives. Let's see. Let's see, is that right? You do it this way. I think you hold it this way. Boy, it's been a while. These are fun, man. Now, this is a practice uh, butterfly knife because if I was using a real one with the sharpened edge, I would have already cut myself because I've already done it wrong a couple times. So, <laughs> but they're really fun to uh, do tricks with. There's like some tricks where you flip it around and it goes around your hand or something. Yeah. Yes, exactly like that. That's the ones I'm talking about. I never could get too many of those, but I can open it and I can do it the quick way, kind of. Yeah, they're lots of fun, man. Whoops. Just hit the table. Got to straighten out my uh, mat. So, what is the deal with these things? Well, it's two handles. And they are, each handle is basically two parts. Almost like you would think of a regular pocket knife having two parts but then there's another handle so it has two handles and then the blade is hinged here and here so that it can pivot and then it has a little lock and I think they all have a lock of some kind um, that holds it closed and then the same lock holds it open when you open it so it should just go right in here yeah okay that one's a little tight uh, why would that be so tight let's see that's the little stop pin right there that goes up against the two handles. Let's see. When you go it this way. Hmm. So there's a little indent in there. And that's what lets the uh, little stop pin go in far enough to close it. Or to lock it. Let's see. If we do it the other way. I feel like that stop pin uh, hole there is not cut as deeply as it needs to be. And maybe that one isn't either. Okay, well, we could fix that. So I think I'm gonna do that. We're gonna fix that right now. Okay, so we got a little tool here that hopefully can take care of this issue. Okay, so we got, it won't quite close. We got this pin. I just hit the camera holder. All right, so I'm gonna take, so this one looks like it's nice and deep. This one is not quite deep enough on the outside edge, so we're going to take this Dremel. I have eye protection on, so always have eye protection on when using tools. Alright, we didn't do a lot. I don't want it to get loose, you know, so. Nope, not quite. Maybe I'll do a little bit on the other side, okay, so. It's not quite closing, so. Let's look at this side. Hmm. Is that the side I just grinded on? Yeah, okay. So we got this side kind of the same deal. So this one is needing a little bit more. Alright, let's try that. Nope, a little bit more. All right, let's make sure that the pin is actually lining up with those little holes. Let's look at it real close. Yeah, well, looks like it go a little lower. Boy, it's getting close. Getting close enough to lock. Or very close to being able to lock. Okay. Not quite. Let's hit that other side again.
Hmm. Still not quite yet. Let's make sure that one is hitting where it should. Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay, so I just need to take these indents a little further down in. I'm going to hit the other side a little bit too. All right, I can get it to lock, but it's still a little bit hard to lock. So we're just going to go a little bit further so it's not so difficult to lock. Boy, just a tiny bit more. We're almost there. All right, so all the dremeling, I fast-forwarded that. So it took a lot, well, it didn't take a lot longer, but yeah, I don't know. It took 10 minutes maybe to, uh, maybe, mm, I don't know, 7 minutes to do, to get it to where it's going to lock nicely. There we go. Very nice. Okay. So we've got the Bali song with its pin that basically locks it or helps it lock open and helps it lock closed. We've got the speed holes in it that help it go fast. Now, of course, they don't really help it go fast, but they do lighten it up a bit. And it is, it's a tad heavy. It could be a little lighter. Some of the uh, very, very expensive ones are made of titanium here and high-end knife steels here like uh, S35 and things like that. So this is definitely a cheaper one. It's for practice. It's for learning on. I think this is supposed to be the sharp side. And that's going to be the toward the side without the lock on it. Uh, that's That would be your sharpening choil there if it was a blade that was sharpened. So like on another knife, um, here's a... Demco AD 20.5, and there's your sharpening choil. So that's kind of like showing you where that edge is supposed to be on the uh, butterfly knife. Bali song knife. These were uh, used for self-defense in the Philippines. They were used, you know, for tools, for any kind of knife tasks. And then they kind of caught on around the world for, you know, being cool and fun to deploy and fun to basically flip around anyway there's your bali song practice knife uh, hope you enjoyed the video have a nice day